Hi, my name is Ferenc Divos and now I would like to show you how to use the new Ludwig sensors. This is really a unique instrument. We are able to increase the res resolution of uh, arborsonic image using these special nails. So, for the demonstration we selected uh, this beautiful uh, plane tree and this tree has some problem inside, you will see very soon the condition inside. Uh, the plan is to use 10 standard arborsonic sensor and 10 uh, Ludwig sensor. So, what is the procedure? We take the uh, measuring tape and the sensor, sensor number one. Actually, all the sensors are um, all the sensors are identical, only the number on it makes it uh, different. So, this position is sensor number one, and now I need to distribute ten sensors roughly equal distances. The shape of the tree is quite uh, irregular, that's why we are using a special geometry uh, for irregular. So the circumference is almost 350 uh, centimeter, and now I place the uh, arborsonic sensors uh, ra roughly equal distance. Uh, I'm using rubber hammer. So we have 10 sensors distributed roughly equal distance along the circumference and now the next step we need to place the Ludwig sensor in between two arborsonic sensors. Uh, I'm using the rubber hammer. The penetration depth of the sensor is, uh, is quite important. Uh, we need to stabilize the uh, sensor. If it is loose and moving, in that case there is no enough uh, acoustic coupling. So if the position is fixed well, uh, acoustical point of view would be fine as well. So, we have nine more. Uh, One of them was falling down. For this reason, to find uh, the sensor, this uh, red tape helped us to find in the, uh, in the uh, crown. So, all the arborsonic sensors and all the Ludwig sensors are in place. The next step is we need to remove the metallic tape because it is an acoustic guide, unwanted shortcut would be made. Okay, so next step is we need to place the amplifier boxes and these numbers becoming really important because uh, the sensor connected to position one is definitely the sensor will become sensor number one. And I go around the tree. So we have ten sensors and there are five amplifier boxes. Next, as in the normal arborsonic procedure is, we need to connect the sensors using this connecting cable. For easy handling, I prefer to keep the cable in my neck. Uh, we need to uh, maintain the proper position of the thing. And this is quite important that from the last box, from channel number 10, I do not connect to box number 1 and 2, 
rather I keep it for the battery box. Okay, so this is called battery box. Holding the battery, the standard battery is this uh, 9 volt battery. It is pre-charged and it is support the system up to two hours. Okay, so at this point we are switch on the computer. So this is the Arborsonic screen and at first we need to select the uh, three species. In this case it is uh, Platanus occidentalis. And now I jump to uh, geometry and select irregular geometry. Sensor number is 10. The height of the sensors is um, 140 centimeter. So we have uh, sensors on the tree including Ludwig sensors and in geometry uh, window we need to uh, select irregular geometry and also we need to uh, select Ludwig sensors. Now we need to measure uh, almost 40 different distances. To support this work we are using uh, the Bluetooth Arborsonic caliper. Uh, the connection is uh, made by uh, Bluetooth and now let me uh, connect the caliper to the laptop. Please measure distance between L1 and 1. So this sounds indicated that connected and I need to place the uh, tip of the uh, caliper to the sensor number 1. Two, and, and press this one. yellow button only once. Uh, the sound requested one and two. L two and L two. This is after two. Uh, it's placed L two. Three. This is a Ludwig sensor. One. Now I L, go around three, like and this. One. Four, it takes for a while, but the one, result is a very precise L, geometry. Four, and one, five, and one, L, five, and one. Sometimes the six, shape of the tree and is quite tricky. One, and L, not six, easy to find the position. One, Okay. Seven and, and now I go to the opposite side of the tree. Seven and one. Seven and one. L seven and one. Ten and six. L, 10, and 6. I need to know what is the minimum good row count. So go to the service key, application options, and select advanced parameters. And here you see the minimum good row count. And the preset value is 3. It means I need to hit 3 times on uh, each sensor. Okay, and let's start the communication. Now we are going to measure the time data. For this reason I need to switch on the battery box. Uh, the red LED is blinking, indicating Bluetooth is not ready. When it is uh, steady it means that battery is okay and connection is uh, fine. If I press start this blue, uh, this green background indicating the connection is okay. 
and now I'm ready to hit three times on sensor number one and next is two so I need to hit all the Arbor Sonic sensors So we already hit all the uh, normal Arbor Sonic sensors and then we move to Ludwig sensor by clicking this point. Uh, first I need to hit L1. And only three L2. times. And I got the message that the next one is L2. L3. Okay, I will hit L3 three times, not more. L4. And so on. So time measurement is done and now I need to switch off the battery unit to avoid unwanted signals. We have all the time measurements and when you click show Ludwig sensor data your time matrix is becoming much bigger and this is indicating the advantage of Ludwig sensors. What are the advantages? Uh, we have more precise geometry and we have better resolution. Let's see what is the inside. Yes, this is the tree and there is a big hollow inside and the resolution is, is pretty, pretty good. Removing Ludwig sensor, we are using this uh, remover tool. It's quite simple. 